Right, let's set up the escape wheel and the pallets now. We didn't do that before. Loosen these off just a tiny little bit. These couple of nuts here. It seems to be running pretty well actually. Tighten the nuts up. Once we put some pressure on the train, we'll see how well they work. All right, they're running round all right. Now, tighten those nuts down. Now we're going to oil the movement. Select which oil we want. We'll use this one. It's a piece of pith wood. It's handy to keep your oilers in because it keeps the tips clean instead of having them lying around on the bench. As usual, this is the oil we're going to use. Mobius D5. That one there. So I'll put some into a little container here. That we'll use to do the oiling. Right, we'll start off with one drop on each of the winding arbors the bush down there one there, one drop other one there The escape wheel that one one on the fly we'll put one on the hammer lever there that's the hammer lever that's actuated by the star wheel. I'll run out of oil, so I'll top that up again. Back over there. Turn the movement round. Now we'll do the other side. Back cut. And there. Pivot in there. And that's covered all the, the bushings on the back. Right, now we'll start off with the front. We'll put two on the winding arbor here. It's a going side train. We'll put one between the click and the click spring. Put one there. Drop on the rack. On that fluid there, we'll do that inside also in a moment. Put 
on top of the snail so that the oil runs down the minute arbor. Warning wheel just there. Second wheel. Striking actuating lever. And two on the strike side winding arbor. And one between the click and the click spring. Now we'll have to reach down inside to do some in here that aren't accessible from the outside. That's the verge. Out of oil again, top him up. Inside of the verge, we got the outside there before, but we put a tiny little bit more in there. One on the leading edge of the pallet, one on the trailing edge of the pallet. I'll have to put that right inside there. Now, this flirt here. Once again on the inside, both sides, tiny little drop. And on that flirt, in there, and those and those, what have we got over here? Been done, both sides of that. Right, I think that looks all right. If you want to learn how to service, repair and restore 19th and 20th century mechanical clocks, then subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell.